Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, patience for winter to pass. To everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Ecclesiastes 3, 1-2 we will always have seasons of struggle and testing. There are times when everything we attempt to do will seem to go wrong. Regardless of our prayers and consecration, adversity will come. We can pray away God's seasons. The Lord has a purpose in not allowing us to be fruitful all the time. When God sends the chilly winds of winter to blow on our circumstances, we must still trust Him. In spite of our dislike for the blinding winds and the icy grip of winter seasons, there is a purpose for these temporary inconveniences. The Apostle Paul calls such light affliction. It is but for a moment, I say, this too shall pass. Some things you're not meant to change, but to survive. So if you can't alter it, then outlive it. Be like a tree in the frosty arms of winter. The forest silently refurbishes its strength, preparing for its next season of fruitfulness. Its branches rocking in the wind, and the sap and the substance of the tree go on the ground. It is not goodbye, though in the spring it will push up its way into the budding of a new experience. Temporary setback creates opportunities for fresh commitment and renewal. If you were to record your accomplishments, you would have noticed that they were seasonal. There are seasons of sunshine as well as rain. Pleasure comes then pain, and vice versa. Each stage has its own purpose. One of the greatest struggles you can encounter is the temptation to make a permanent decision based on a temporary circumstance. Someone once said, Patience is a tree whose root is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. The reward of patience is reflected in gradually not having to amend your amendments. Temporary circumstances do not always require action. Prayer brings us into patience. Patience is a result from trust. We cannot trust a God we don't talk with. Do not misunderstand me. God needs men and women who are decisive. However, every situation shouldn't get an immediate reaction. Prayer is the seasoning of good judgment. Without it, our decisions will not be palatable. In closing, this quote, temporary circumstances do not always require action. I have found that prior brings us into patience. God bless you as you face your day with the spirit of patience.